Hello everyone! Good morning, CJ here. So, the video for today is intended for those who's asking kung pwede bang i-connect ang Bluetooth keyboard sa MatePad D8. This keyboard is the Logitech Multi-Device Bluetooth Keyboard, better known as K380. So, itong keyboard na to, ito yung ginagamit namin dito sa bahay. And, uh, it's battery operated. Um, since it's a Bluetooth keyboard, um, you'll connect the keyboard to any device using the Bluetooth connection. This keyboard connects to almost any 3.0 enabled device. It is compatible to PC, sa computer, sa Mac, sa Chrome, sa Android, at saka sa iOS na device. So, pwede natin i-connect yung MatePad D8 dito. What's good about this keyboard is that you can actually connect up to 3 devices, pero syempre hindi sabay-sabay. Isa pa sa nagustuhan ko dito is that yung keyboard um, portable siya. So, pwede mo siyang dalhin sa sala, sa kwarto, o kung saan ka man magkagamit ng keyboard. So, eto na yung ating MatePad T8. And, medyo matagal-tagal na rin ako hindi gumawa ng video for this particular device. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon is um, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano natin i-coconnect itong keyboard sa T8. And kung paano yung um, gamit niya. So, ito turn on lang natin yung keyboard. So, yung sa side, yun yung power button. And after turning it on, you can already see a flashing light dun sa keyboard. Which is an indicator na okay na siyang gamitin. So, on the T8, you have to turn on Bluetooth. And then, kailangan nating hanapin. Or kailangan nating makita na merong indicator yung keyboard sa ating MatePad D8. So, ipepress natin ng uh, medyo matagal yung number 2 since for this uh, MatePad D8, ang ginagamit ko is yung second connection. Ayan. Makikita natin doon sa T8 na it's already showing. So, ayun. Um, walang pangalan yung keyboard. So, drawing lang ng keyboard. And then, it will ask you to type in a pairing code which will be provided by your MatePad D8. So, yung, yung number na yun, itatype natin siya dun sa keyboard. So, ulitin natin siya. Ulitin natin. Um, we uh, pair, again, we pair the keyboard to the T8. Um, you have to type in the, the number. So, yung pairing code there, 028649. Tapos, we hit on enter. Pairing is successful. So, we can start um, using it na. Ayun, nakalagay doon na naka-pair na siya. So, pwede na natin siyang gamitin. So, pag ginagamit namin tong T8 with a keyboard, syempre, naka-landscape Para, medyo malaki yung visual natin doon sa screen. Kasi this uh, made pa T8, um, 8 inches lang yung screen niya, di ba? Okay, so let's put it to a test. So, just using the, the cursor keys, um, I don't know if you can see it, but you can navigate the T8 itself just by using the keys if you would want to scroll on the applications. And then, if you would want to open the application, you just need to hit enter. So, this one, ang in-open natin is yung notepad. Kasi, syempre, magsasample type tayo, di ba? Magta-type type tayo dun sa, ano, sa T8. So, I'll open a new, um, a new note um, para blank lang na blank lang na ano na page tapos pag nag type ka dun sa keyboard uh, very responsive yung 
T8, I mean the connection ng T8 sa keyboard, um, wala siyang lag. So, every time you type, meron na siyang lalabas ka agad dun sa screen. Um, I know that there are some keyboards na pag nag-type ka, it will take like few seconds para siya, bago siya mag-appear. But for this one, mabilis yung reaction niya. Actually, ginagamit namin to for ano eh, for um, the typing test. Minsan naglalaro kami. Also, yung mga function keys nitong keyboard nito, it works. Um, for example, um, you want to increase or decrease the volume, kailangan mo lang siyang pindutin and ayun na, ba? Diba? Nakadiretso siya kaagad sa volume. So, pwede mong lakasan, pwede mong hinaan yung, yung volume. Um, subukan natin siya na merong music. So, hanapin ko yung music natin dito sa T8. I'm trying to open the um, music application just by using the arrow buttons or the keyboard itself. Pero pag yung application pala nandoon siya sa, sa side, hindi mo siya mananavigate using the arrow keys. Uh, just by using the, the keys uh, you can actually turn the volume up and down and then you can hit the stop and play button pag gusto mong pahintuin yung, yung music you can even use the forward keys para i-change yung music to the next track tapos yung backward keys to go back to another track tapos if you would wanna close everything all you just need to do is to hit home so hindi mo na kailangan pang mag swipe dun sa screen So, what I'm trying to say here is that kung hilimbawang gusto natin gamitin yung Huawei MatePad T8 like as a portable um, computer or a portable device with a keyboard like for example, you need to do a lot of um, writings for work or for blogs on any man pwede siyang gamitin for that. So, syempre, um, alam ko na merong ibang mga tao na Um, gusto, mas gusto nila na pag nagta-type sila or gumagawa sila ng mga um, documents or nagta-translate sila ng mga ideas sila on a notepad or on, an, may that be a notepad, an email or even sa website, mas gusto nila yung keyboard na gamitin. So, you can actually do that here sa Matepad D8. Um, all you just need is of course a keyboard um, to pair it with. So, itong keyboard na to ni, ni Logitech, um, so far, wala pa ako naging problema dito in terms of using the functionalities on um, the T8. And we even use this one for homeschooling for the kids. So, kung hilimbawang meron mga assignments that they need to type in to, kasi ba diba, itong MatePad T8, hindi siya pwede nung stylus, yung M pencil. So, um, kailangan talaga na ang gamitin mo sa kanya is keyboard or capacitive capacitive na na stylus which is hindi masyadong magandang result. So, ang isa lang din na ano dito is if, for example, if you go to the kids corner which is this one yung keyboard hindi dito nagfo-function um, maybe because it's a uh, it's a, ang tawag dito um, limitation ng application So, hindi mo siya magagamit dun sa kids' corner. But nevertheless, if you go out of, um, if you go to the main screen ng MatePad T8, all of the functions that you have here, it, it's actually, it actually works. So, for those who are asking kung pwede bang mag-connect ng keyboard sa Huawei MatePad T8, yes po, nakita nyo naman, you can connect a Bluetooth keyboard to... Huawei MatePad T8 um, If you also tried to connect um, a different keyboard on the T8 Please let me know on the comment section below So we would know uh, which one works and which one doesn't So that's our video for today Thank you guys for watching Give this video a thumbs up If you like the video or if I was able to provide you um, 
a helpful information and uh, do subscribe to my channel and may have a great day. Bye!